Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're about to go fight that doggo again, but I just wanted to take a look at the new spells that we got last episode. We have Comet, which we're not going to be able to use for a long time because it takes 52 intelligence. Uh, yeah, basically you have to be a genius to use this spell. And we're a ways away from that. The other one's easy to use though. Gravity Well takes just 17 int. Pulls foe towards caster with gravity projectile. Let's try that out before I go fight the doggo. I don't know how useful it's going to be, though. Like, okay, I pull him towards me. And then what? <laughs> Wait, what? What kind of gravity well was that? All it did was kill them. <laughs> it moved them into the afterlife. Let's try that again. Huh? The weird thing is, it's actually doing good damage. So, Glintstone Pebble. Does 270. So, Gravity Well was doing about 200. Not great, but, you know, pretty good. Well, these enemies apparently just die in one hit. Let's try it on the Sorcerers. Okay. So, if it doesn't kill them, it moves them towards you? Is that... Is that correct? Ow. Okay, I don't really get the point of it, though. If that was on a weapon, sure. If that was a special ability of a weapon, I could pull them towards me and then hit them real quick. But if I'm casting it from my staff, by the time I switch to my weapon, you know, they're already unstunned and, and I don't really see the point. You know, I haven't used Shatter Earth in a while, though. Let me just try it on a normal enemy. Yeah, I don't know if there's some special use I'm missing, or like if I'm just bad at strategizing on how to use these spells or, or what, but a lot of these sorceries just seem inferior. Am I missing something? I don't know, but I'm just going back to Glintstone Pebble, Glintstone Arc, and Starlight. Oh. <laughs> Good doggy. Trying to do wild strikes, but uh, I don't think that's the way to go. No, Wild Strikes are really not the way to go. Because, I mean, it's a dog. Like, dogs in any in any FromSoft game, they're incredibly fast. It's all about just getting into attacks during those tiny windows. It's not about, like, tanking them or anything. Let's try doing magic.
are such cool moves. Yeah, got him. Sorry, Dougie. Memory stone. God. I, they're giving me so many spell slots, and I, I'm only actually using two spells. And then the third one is just a light one. I occasionally want it, but the only ones I actually need are the two slots. I really hope I get more useful spells or just, like, learn how to utilize the ones I already have. I didn't look at how many souls I got for that. What do I have? Uh, oh, this is the debate parlor. Almost enough for a level up. Let's pop a soul. <laughs> a soul. Pop a rune. Have you met my pop a rune? I won't remind because I love that FP, but given that that one spell takes like 50 something intelligence i'm gonna go with an int more int gotta get smarter i'm in the debate parlor right gotta be smart break its own cage? Quite a few of these are broken open like that. Try jumping. Oh, hey! There is somewhere down there. Um... That might be survivable with cotton. I'm so close to a side of grace, why not, right? Here we go. Okay. Ah. Uh. Hey, crab. Look at him. Nom 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 nom. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Eat again? <gasps> oh look at that! Oh that's so cool! In in um in the particles that come up when it's eating, there's the worms. There's like wriggly little worms. Not just dirt, but bugs. <laughs> 
That's a nice attention to detail. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't hurt them, but I pushed that crab back. I'm so sorry. Oh, what the hell? What is that thing? Don't kill the crab. Okay, good. It rolled over it, but it was fine. Uh. Okay, that is so cool. Oh, that is so cool! Look at how mechanical its movements are, because it is mechanical. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, how vulnerable are you to magic? Uh, ow. I mean, the damage it took was not bad. It just seems to have a lot of health. What the hell? What in the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? That's horrifying! I thought this thing was just a machine, but that looked like biological. It looked like it had tentacles inside of it. Oh, I love it. Oh, they really just want to be one of the crabs. Sorry, I pushed you back, Krabby. Okay. Try this again. Try to not get eaten by the tentacles. I'm inclined to stay away from it because of the tentacles, but... I'm going to try getting close and seeing how much damage melee does to it. Not more than uh, magic, but... Oh my god. Wait, where do I hit it? I guess I hit it in the back when it's, um... When it's got a crit. Uh, I'm just trying to stare inside of it. I want to know exactly what that is. I I'm not sure if it is tentacles or if it's... Uh, machinery of some sort, like tubes or something. I don't know. But yeah, to save FP, just doing wild strikes, it's actually, I think, the way to go. Of course, it doesn't bleed, but... Eh. Could I get over there by just jumping on one of those? I think I could. God, I love being able to jump now. Like, this would be unthinkable without the ability to jump. <gasps> oh no. Holy shit. Again? Okay, fast, fast, fast. Spinning stone, cool. Uh, is it coming because I'm going down to the bottom, or is it just on a timer? It's just on a timer. It's coming out of, uh, like a portal they made. Not gonna make it. Think I have to disable that probably before I can go up there. Whoa. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. What is that? Oh, it's sleep. Please don't make me go to sleep. I don't think that'd be a good thing. What are they searching for in the ground, I wonder? In the soil.
mana, maybe? Just energy? No horse ahead. I don't get what that means. You can't use a horse in this entire place. have a golden seed. I'm not sure. I might be able to get another flask. Because I need two for the next one. Be wary of ambush. Ah, time for crab. Okay. Bring it on. path ahead. See, now I know it's possible, so I gotta try it. There's a staircase directly behind my head over there, and then there's also up here. Oh wait, I can't reach that, can I? Okay, I think I have to go up the staircase? Wait, did I already go here? No. What is that? Crystal Crab! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey, but I think you have something special. Yes. It's a headpiece. I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor little crab. I'm a monster. So we already had this. Now we have this. I should probably read up on these descriptions. One of the glintstone crowns bestowed upon Rhea Lucaria scholars whose pursuits were deemed worthy increases intelligence to the detriment of stamina. Oh! The Corolos Conspectus is the oldest of the Academy's, Academy's lineages of study, begat by the sorcerer Azure. Scholars who follow in his footsteps pursue the mysteries of comets. The lineage of the uh, Olivenus Conspectus began with the sorcerer Lusat, and its adherents continue his study of meteors. Oh, there's all these different studies of very specific things. It's interesting. Olivenus, Corolos. Mm, so this one increases intelligence to the detriment of HP. How much does it increase intelligence? By three. And it hurts my HP by about 50, somewhere between 50 and 60. And this one hurts my stamina by 9. 9 less stamina. Hmm. I mean, the int, I mean, the int is good, of course, especially if there's sorceries that require 50 int. But that's a lot to take away from stamina. I mean, I would estimate that the stamina and HP loss is equivalent to about two stat points. Like two stat points of vigor for the HP and two of endurance for stamina. 
and you're gaining three intelligence. So I think kind of overall in stat points you win, but... Hmm. I also just hate the look. I don't want to wear these. Plus, they're so heavy. Can I alter them to just not be there? <laughs> like... You know how MMORPGs especially allow you to have helmets on, but then not actually display them? So they affect your stats, but they're not cosmetic at all? That's what I want. Upstairs. Or up the rubble, maybe. Um, let's see if this goes anywhere first. Try jumping. Chaos. Pew. Enemy ahead. Oh, little pop boys. Leave me alone, leave me alone. I don't want to hurt you. Living Jar Shard, oh no. Group ahead. Oh, fucking hell. so annoying. That's how my enemies must feel about me. Casting magic at them all the time. God, they're annoying. Aristocrat boots. That sounds potentially pretty. They're very light. Boots made from tanned leather. Travel attire worn by nobles in the capital. Abandoning their birthplace after the shattering, these undead wanderers are the pitiful product of unending life. Okay, in the picture they actually look really ugly. They're, ah, they're just plain. I'm going to stick with the astrologer trousers. Something incredible ahead. Try right. What does that let me do? Grant's choice of affinity upgrade to weapon. Well, that's what the iron wet blade does. I assume that opens up a new type of affinity. Ooh.
try jumping. Ooh. That leads to a whole thing. Where does this go? Just a shortcut? Yeah, just a shortcut. Look at the marionette soldier helm. Hideous. Absolutely hideous. Still know something. Item ahead. Where of up? <gasps> ah, a little um. Oh, they're not called marionettes. What were they? Avionettes or something? Look at that. It's like an Aurora Borealis kind of thing going on. make that jump. These bloodstains say no. Winding up, getting ready to sprint. Oh. Tons of bloodstains, not a single message saying jump. I'm not going to do it. Be wary of right, and then be wary of ahead. 
Try target lock. Ah, oh, hi. So I could just fall down right here, but I don't know if I'd be able to get back up. Oh, I think I actually have to go that other way and fall down. Yeah, this is a dead end. I see it. Oh, I can jump there from over here. Wait, what's an imbued store sword key? Like a higher tier of them? Unseals sending gate, but disappears upon use. A special item imbued with rich blue magic. Breaks the seal on the imp statues guarding the sending gates enshrined in each belfry, but remains embedded in the statue after use, meaning it can only be used once as an item. Think well before using one. I see another one of those special crabs. Wait, hold on. This doesn't go down to the area where I just killed enemies. But maybe it's a dead end? Let's check it out. Behold, crab! I see it. Bright spot ahead. Do they mean Sight of Grace? Seek up. Can't look up look up more than this. Yeah, I guess I have to jump over to that other place. Time for down. Not just yet. Oh. These are open. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. You do not want to fall here. Try up. I see you. I'm pretty sure that's instant death down there. Yeah, so we can go in through the windows. We can drop down here. Let's see what's around the other side.
Be wary of up. I see him. I have a feeling the pillar or like the bridge thing directly beneath me will lead outside. So I think I want to go this way first and get the items on the way down rather than dropping down out there. Academy Glintstone key. Wait, like the kind I already have or is that a different kind? Key to open the Academy's two sealed gates. Did I use up the other one, or... Oh no, there it is. Academy Glintstone Key. Academy Glintstone Key. Okay. Oh wait, hold on, there's something in the description. Um, a glintstone key will remember its user, meaning once used, it can never be passed on to another. The academy does not welcome the indolent. Okay. I guess, um... Well... Uh, whatever their name is, I forget off the top of my head. Said they wanted a key, like, if you're done with it, give it to me. I guess they didn't even know the fact that the key remembers its user and only... And, and you can only use the one. Or maybe it could be passed on to another, but they would just, like, kill the other person? For being indolent? I don't know. Either way, I need to make sure I give them the unused one. <laughs> it's still brand new, unused by anyone. Why is it always here? There's our shortcut ladder. How close was that to the bonfire? Oh, this is the room where they drop down. Okay, that's pretty close. A new spell! Yes, I hope I'm smart enough to use it. Carrying required ahead. Really? Well, I'm not going that way just yet. Ah, it does lead outside. Yes. I'm sorry, Grab. Twin Sage Glenstone Crown. Nice little box, little playpen. So, what's different about the twin-headed one? The stats and weight on all of them are the same, so it's just like what it does to your stats. Greatly increases intelligence to the detriment of HP and stamina. 
Five, six, seven. Four, five. Yeah, okay. So it literally does the effects of these two. It's just both of these stacked. You gain double the intelligence and you lose double the amount. Like, I mean, you lose the same amount of HP and the same amount of stamina that you would have wearing these individually. But if you really need a lot of intelligence to use these super smart smell spells, then... Put on this probably ugly thing. Yeah, that's hideous. God, no. Just no. Even if that had just absolutely amazing stats, I would never wear it just because of the fashion alone. I have 10,000 souls. No extra FP, one healing. Eh. I think I'm going to continue on ahead. Oh, you have a bow, don't you? Mm-hmm. Well, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Perfumer's Bolt. Ooh. If I was melee only, that probably would have been a lot harder. Oh. That's so pretty. It's like a bunch of stars just frozen here. <gasps> I haven't had a new staff in so long. Oh my god. I'm so excited to check that out. It looks really pretty, too. So wait, where does this actually leave me as far as where to go to progress forwards? Down the ladder is just a shortcut back to where I've been. I cannot believe how smart you have to be to use these spells. This Shattering Crystal one, 38. Amazing. Okay, let's take a look at that staff. Mm, keeping in mind my current staff is plus 11. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna probably pale in comparison. Yeah, the scaling is 60. Ugh. Actually, wait a minute. Oh, fuck, it requires 52 intelligence! Am I supposed to have this much, this much intelligence? Like, at this point in the game, have I been under-leveling intelligence? I have 31. I'm so far off, it's not even funny. Jesus Christ, even if I wore the twin mask, I wouldn't have anywhere near enough. And just how much better would the scaling get, though? Like, if I upgraded it to plus 11, would it be 171? I don't know. Maybe. Staff of the Primeval Glintstone Sorcerer Azure. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces casting time of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. Okay, so it's a really special staff. Quicker casting, uses more FP, and it's actually... It's the staff of the Sorcerer Azure. Okay, fair enough. That gives me hope that not all staffs are going to be like that, and require 50 intelligence. I'm not actually sure where to go in here, so I'm actually just going to go back and give Tops, was it, the spare key and see what happens. Back to learn another? Wonderful. You're most welcome to any of my anemia. Do you have any new ones? 
No, just the two ones that I start with. Um, yeah, give the Academy Glintstone Key. Are you certain? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to give your Glintstone Key to me? My, oh my. Thank you. Thank you dearly. Now I can go back to the Academy to resume my study of Glintstone sorceries. And the very stars. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> glad to help. Back to learn another. Why, of course. Have you learned anything new in the one second since I've? No, you haven't. Thank you dearly. With your blessing, I will depart for the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Or perhaps one day you'll pay me a visit. Who knows? I may be a decorated sorcerer by then. <laughs> Just please don't kill me on sight. Uh, I just want to check. Which one did you give them? Okay, this one. Yeah, this one is not the unused one. Good. They got the unused one. I was going back through the whole place trying to figure out where to go and to see if I could find tops. And I think I just did near this wheel. And I think they're dead. Ah, oh, pathetic sword. Tops bell bearing. Academy Glintstone Staff. Tops Barrier. New spell. I figured they weren't ready for this. Should I have not have given them the key? Sadness. Oh, Tops. Tops Barrier. The lifelong pursuit of Tops the Bluntstone. Creates a magic force field that deflects sorceries and incantations. Hold to continuously create barriers. Future generations will learn. They will know the foolishness of the sneering sorcerers who ridiculed this theory, little realizing that it was in fact a discovery worthy of a new conspectus of the Academy. <laughs> Tops! I feel so bad for them. That sounds great against all these little bastards shooting little things at me. Uh, hold on. How much FP did it take? Did it say? It doesn't? Oh, there we go. FP cost 7. Oh, that's really modest. I wonder how long it lasts. I guess we'll find out. We have the bell bearing, which I'll do in a minute. Um, the staff. Requires 28 intelligence. Finally, something I can actually use. It's not upgraded. Sorcery scaling is 133. I hope it scales A with int once it's upgraded to plus 11 like my current one. Staff of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria embedded with a turquoise glintstone. Only a recognized sorcerer is permitted to wield this staff. Yeah, let's go upgrade it and give the bell bearing to the Twin Maiden Husks. Offer a bell bearing. Tops bell bearing. Okay, bell bearing. Shop one. Oh, it's just an alternate way of giving you these spells in case you didn't get them before. That's all it is. Aw. Makes sense, of course. Just nothing exciting there. A little bit exciting, though, is that this door is now open. It keeps... Well, I mean, it was closed at one point, and then it was open at one point, and now it's open again. It was closed for a while. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the Round Table, I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Kaelid Wilds. 
Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir, Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell, and Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? So Renala is the one I'm going to be facing in the Academy. Tell me about Renala. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyurnia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved Radagon left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The Great Rune dwells within the Amber Egg that was Radagon's gift to her. The Amber Egg. And how about Godric? So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, First Elden Lord, He's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wait on the others. Now that I have that new whetstone, I can make my weapons magic or cold. Magic seems like a perfect fit, but I'm actually kind of tending towards cold because if you look at the very bottom right, it makes it so this weapon not only causes blood loss buildup, but also frost buildup. And actually a lot of frost too, 78. It hurts the blood loss buildup a little bit. It goes from 50 to 45, but that's not that much of a decrease. The idea of applying two status effects with this weapon is so attractive to me. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Oh, I was only able to upgrade the Academy staff up to, I think, plus eight, plus seven, actually. So sorcery scaling got up to 152, which unfortunately is nowhere near the 171 of my plus 11 staff. So, yeah, I just need to wait till I get more, um, more stones. Still have no idea what to do with the Academy, but I did realize this area here. This is at the main Academy gate. This is the seal where, if I use it, it'll take me over to the south. So it teleports between the south and the main gate. But what I realized is I didn't actually try just walking behind the seal. And these messages say there's a precious item, merchant ahead. So let's go check it out. Puppers! I'm sorry. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, puppies. Praise the dog. Well, there's been an age since I how can I help Fanged Imp Ashes? That's pretty cheap actually. <gasps> Whoa, what is this? That looks gorgeous. Oh my. 
Oh, they have notes. Oh, they have a cookbook. And they have an eye? Grown in lands afflicted by frenzy. No, thank you. I don't need any more stone sword keys. I have so many keys and I don't know where to use them. Okay, um... Cookbook. Yes. Notes. Yes. Preceptor secret. Revenants frenzied flame village. Armor. Yes. Um, I'm almost certainly not going to want to wear the headpiece because it'll cover my hair. But let's just buy the rest. It's not even very expensive. Should I buy the headpiece just to complete the outfit? Yeah, okay, it will. It probably won't wear it, but... Have a safe journey. Okay, I mean, what I'm wearing right now is already really pretty. But... But let's check this out. Vest of a nomadic warrior. The blue color of its fabric symbolizes brisk waters as fluid and flowing as the sword in the hand of its wearer. Just as still waters turn foul, stagnation leads to decay. Warriors must remain ever drifting. Okay, stat comparison. It's significantly less heavy. Let's compare it to the astrologer's robe. So I think it's light armor. Maybe slightly heavier armor because it is literally slightly heavier. Better physical, uh, worse like magic. Um... Yeah, it does have significantly worse focus and vitality. So it is more of a warrior kind of outfit than like a casting outfit. Because all the like stuff made for casters always gives you focus. And this doesn't give you a huge amount of focus. It's kind of balanced though. Like it's less focus, but it's kind of a roughly equal amount of all of them. Anyway, I wouldn't say this is better or worse. I think just different maybe slightly better okay how's it look that's really pretty now let's go back to the firelight that's very pretty okay uh, what about the hand piece was it warrior It must have been. Oh, that's also very pretty. I like both of these, but this does fit the outfit more, of course, because of the like leather look. And the footpiece. Warrior Greaves. Also very pretty. Which one do I like more, though? Actually, I think I maybe like the carry and night griefs more. I do, actually. Yeah, they're a bit more colorful, a bit more elegant, a bit more, like, tight to the body. I like the warrior ones, but I prefer the carry and night griefs. The carry and night griefs are heavier. Um, how do they compare? Well... Pretty much better overall when it comes to protection, probably because they're heavier. But they don't have the focus and vitality. And the headpiece. Probably won't wear it, but let's see. No, I'm definitely not wearing that. God, it even covers my eyes. Like, that just, just doesn't even really fit my head right. It should be above my eyes. I think I like this more. Yeah, I definitely like that more, especially from the back. Ooh, so pretty. I love that. The other armor is very pretty and I like it too, but this feels very like overtly feminine and I really like that. I love the little uh, what would you even call them? 
the sleeve capes. <laughs> There's one on each side. I really like those. Oh, it's so flowy. It's so fluid. And I can craft some new stuff. I'm not sure what. Maybe the sleep stuff might be new. Sleep arrows I can make. What's further down here? Be wary of up. Wait, what? Oh, what are you? Come fight me. Whoa. Ah. Oh, they do some bleeding. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, arc is the way to go. I have a much harder time dodging it. Strip of white flesh. Mm-mm. A key item, Celestial Dew. A hidden tier found in the Eternal City, also known as a Night Tier. Allows one to carry out an absolution of the Church of Vows, reversing all antagonizations. Once upon a time, the stars of the night sky guided fate, and this is a recollection of those times. Reverses all antagonizations. I don't know what that means. Oh my god, you can make this. This must be what I was missing then. Well done. Try luring out. Oh, there's a teleporter over there. Try parrying. Uh oh, they saw me. <laughs> Moongrim, carrion knight. Frosty blood. Carrion Knight's shield. Yeah, they were wearing that beautiful Carrion Knight armor. What do we got here? 100% physical. How's it compare? Same weight. Um, yeah, same physical, 100%. Significantly more magic from 47 to 70%, but actually significantly worse fire and lightning a little bit worse guard boost but it's so much better magic which is really good for this place and it's also pretty oh that is so pretty i'm going with it just based on looks alone but i also do think it's definitely better for this area that is gorgeous wow i love those blue gems Where do you think that's going to take me? Yeah. 
wherever it is, I can always travel backwards. Right? Oh. No. No, it doesn't. The Church of Vows. Oh my god! Hello! That's... <laughs> god. Yeah, literally. A, a turt god. You are tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I don't know. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. So if you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. Study sorcery? Give scroll? Give them prayer books? Can I find I, I can finally give them all those scrolls. I'm gonna have so many spells available to me. Oh my god. Uh I don't wanna do that just yet. I see a chest over there. Is there a side of grace here? There must be. Probably just outside. Yes. Let's leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to talk to the Turtle God and see if I can learn some new sorceries. <laughs>